Uh, I'm reflecting on my story. I have to go back to my childhood. Um, where I grew up in a caravan, uh, travelling up and down the East Coast with my family, um, alcoholic parents, and there was domestic violence. And uh, I found it very difficult to attach myself to, to anybody or any school or any community or any club because we were always on the move. So I had a very uh, deep need to belong that couldn't be satisfied any other way than being very good at performing in school and in athletics. So I was the fastest runner and the top student in the school wherever I went. And that drive made me feel connected and accepted because I was a performer. It carried through to my early adulthood when I uh, got into study physiotherapy, a very difficult degree to get into, and got to the top of that profession as I felt accepted and uh, I belonged. And on top of that, I went on and did a Master of Business and became a consultant. And people came to me and paid lots of money to have this advice, and I was the helper. I was in control. Um, and I had businesses on the side, so financially, everything was going great. And I belonged, because I was a success. And so, life seemed to be smooth sailing. The formula had worked as a child, and it was carrying through to my adulthood. But then divorce came and everything went crashing. And what became a few drinks became a few bottles. And this went on deeper and deeper. I found myself in a hole of drinking because I couldn't cope with the fact that I had failed. I had failed as a father, with family court, battling for years. I was not seeing my children as much as I wanted to. I was a father as a husband. I had uh, pulled myself away from friends. I didn't engage with the world, I couldn't hold a job. Everything that I had built up had come crashing down and I couldn't face each day. The only relief I would get each day would be to go to sleep at night, usually passing out after drinking, or to just drink myself into oblivion. I was alone, my only friends were the bottle and sleep. And for quite a number of, uh, for that, during that period, I used to think to myself, look, I don't want to take my life, but I certainly wouldn't be complaining if I never woke up. One day, I met somebody in the Centrelink queue, and that took me years to admit that I needed to actually get some financial support. And uh, we got talking, and she gave me a sense of light, that there is something in me that I didn't see in myself that was desirable and beautiful. And that gave me some hope, and I thought, oh, I want to get out of this. So I went on this struggle, this journey, three steps forward, two steps back, two steps forward, four steps back. It was horrendous. And I just couldn't do it by myself. And I'd been going to my doctor for about four years and I said, look, I'm just not able to do this with pure willpower. One of the things he said to me was, you think too much. And uh, well, that doesn't help. And now I've got these tablets that would make me vomit if I drank. And I thought, well, oh, I don't know if that's going to help either. And I'd say to him, look, I'm feeling really sick because of these tablets. And he says, no, it's because you're drinking. And I thought, well, yeah, this is not really helping. <laughs> and uh, so I persisted. And then I thought, no, something's not right. And I didn't know what it was. So I asked for a referral to see a psychiatrist. And finally, I got that. And it's taken over four years to try various medications. And I'm starting to understand the triggers that I'd previously been able to mask with incredible drive and activity and self-acceptance um, through achievement. But when all those things had gone, I was faced with this raw human being that was vulnerable, and that was me. Now that I've uh, gone through that journey, I've been drawn to chaplaincy. Um, I feel more connected to other people who are, who are struggling with their lives, who are trying to find meaning and purpose um, and, and a sense of belonging. I finished a, a great dip in chaplaincy. I'm just a couple of weeks away from finishing a master's dissertation on the sense of belonging. And that will uh, then be extended to uh, looking at the spiritual aspects of belonging for refugees that come to this country whose lives have been turned upside down and many of whom uh, may carry mental illness as a result of those experiences. So the journey goes on. Thank you.